bring up your first comedian coming to the stage. She is very funny, a wonderful lady. Please give it up for Holly Van Stratton. Thanks, Michaela. Yes, Michaela did introduce me as Holly Van Stratton, not Sarah Palin. <laughs> So my parents uh, got married when they were 17 and I came five months later. <laughs> when I was old enough to do the math, I started introducing myself to people as Holly Backseat Van Stratton. <laughs> my mom overheard me and she said, if I hear you tell that story one more time, I'm going to tell you what really happened during that one miracle minute in the Dodge. <laughs> my mom and dad have been married for 51 years. Them that you approve. And this looks like a very smart audience. Yes, I will be 51 soon. Yeah. They're still so in love. They still hold hands. They still kiss. They still laugh at each other's jokes when they can hear them. And they still sleep in the same bed sometimes. My brother married his high school sweetheart. They've been married 25 years and they have two beautiful children. Good for them. <laughs> I'll always be mother's favorite. I came out first. I made it easy for my brother from the day he slipped out. I was in there first and prepared all of it just for him to slide on out easy. I was born with a crooked eye. I'm not so lucky in love. I met a really hot Marine at a bar a few years back and I asked him to dance. Well, he looked over his right shoulder at the guy behind him where my eye was looking. <laughs> and I said, no, I'm talking to you. So we danced, got married four months later. That was a fucking disaster. <laughs> I should have trusted my crooked eye. <laughs> Ooh, is it hot in here? Did my hormone patch fall off? <laughs> so I was uh, dating a guy recently, and I was in his apartment, and I heard the hair blower going. He didn't have that much hair, so I stepped into the bathroom, and he is hair blow drying the tub. You know where the caulking meets the tub right there and the wall? Come to find out, he hates anything wet. Finally. <laughs> Somebody that can appreciate menopause. <laughs> Last week, walking down the street, a young gentleman called me a MILF, mother I like to fuck. I felt amazing, started walking even higher and more, you know, prouder. Then I felt kind of bad. I don't have children. Now I'm thinking maybe he meant menopausal I like to fuck. He did because he's in the back waiting for me to finish right now. Has anybody ever been skydiving here? Skydiving, good experience. You did live through it. Excellent, awesome. How was your experience? Great. Great, well, you lived through it, so I guess it was awesome. <laughs> I've been three times. My friends are like, isn't it scary? And I'm like, hell yeah, it's scary. But where else will I go to be able to strap myself to a man for seven minutes for only 120 bucks? <laughs> Screaming. <laughs> Has anybody been to Thailand before? Thailand? Excellent. Um, I may go for different reasons than you. I go because I love the massages and how uh, cheap they are. Uh, so I was in Thailand recently and I went in for a one hour body massage and the, the lady gives me a pouch and a towel. So I undress and I open up this pouch and I put all of my hair up into this pouch. Uh, sorry, the, net, the hair net. And I get on the table naked and she comes in and she, fakes, she shakes her finger at her head or at my head and her head, and then she points to her crotch. I had the wrong, I was covering the wrong pa patch of hair. <laughs> yeah, they were underwear. Oh, goodness. I was on vacation recently. I went water skiing. I'm a very active 50-year-old, if you know what I mean. I had no idea that my legs could open up that wide. <laughs> I'm still dripping lake water. <laughs> I'm going to apologize to the front tables if there's any splashback. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, um, I get Charlie horses when I'm having sex. You know what a Charlie horse is? That cramp in your leg that just tightens up and you can't get out. So, yeah, you know, you just shake it out. Well, I, while I was having sex, 
I was just shaking it out, shaking it out. And after, the guy said, wow, I knew it would be good, but I had no idea it would be this good. Can we do it again right now? And I'm thinking, can I fake a Charlie horse? <laughs> so uh, my parents, I took my parents on vacation to St. Martin, and uh, my mom wanted to go to a nude beach. Yeah, so uh, off they go, my parents go on a walk, and my mom still talks about that walk on Long Dong Dick Beach. <laughs> Recently, I asked my parents why they called me Holly, and my mom said, well, growing up at your grandma's house, being young, they did the dishes and looked out the kitchen window, and there were five holly trees there. And I said, well, thank God there wasn't a pile of dog shit. <laughs> thank you so much, my holly.